Okay, I admit it. The title of this video is totally clickbait. Thus, the sweatshirt. It was designed to get you to watch the video thinking that I was going to reveal some big design flaw with the balcony cabins on Norwegian Bliss, but the balcony cabins on Bliss are fine. The reason that I say don't book a balcony cabin on Norwegian Bliss is because there's something better that you should book, and that is a spa cabin with a balcony, or better yet, do what I did, book a spa mini suite. One of my favorite features on Norwegian Cruise Line ships is the thermal suite within the spa, and they sure did a nice job on the one on Norwegian Bliss. If you book a spa cabin, you'll have access to the thermal suite at no extra charge for the entire length of the cruise. No service charge, no tips, just use it anytime you want between 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. as often as you want. The thermal suite is a fantastic place to relax. Both the jacuzzi and that big pool behind it are kept at a very warm temperature. I love it here, and I always try to book at least a spa cabin with balcony when I cruise with Norwegian. This time, I booked a spa mini suite. And the ultimate spa cabin, if you can afford it, is a Haven spa suite. The wonderfully warm water in the thermal suite always makes me feel better. And the thermal suite is a quiet zone where there aren't a whole lot of people talking and no one under the age of 18 is allowed. Here it is with the pumps turned on. I actually prefer leaving them off because it's quiet that way, but a lot of people prefer having all that water running and all the bubbles going. The big warm pool is just the right depth so you can stand up with your head out of water. You don't have to tread water like you have to do in some cruise ship pools that are too deep to stand in. And in addition to the jacuzzi and that big warm pool next to it, the thermal suite within the spa features all these comfortable padded loungers where you can rest and relax with a fantastic view out huge picture windows. It's a great place to read a book or listen to music on a pair of headphones or even surf the internet on your phone or tablet using the ship's Wi-Fi. These tile loungers are heated when you lie on them, the heat radiates up into your body. It's a great place to warm up. Imagine this on Norwegian Bliss's Alaska itineraries. But even during our Panama Canal cruise, I really enjoyed spending time here in the warm thermal suite. There's also a steam sauna. There's a dry sauna without the steam, as well as several showers and, believe it or not, even an ice room, if you like to do that Scandinavian thing of going immediately from warm to cold to warm again. There are men's and women's locker rooms adjacent to the thermal suite, and there are towels and even bathrobes provided, and refreshments too. So my point is, book a spa cabin instead of a regular cabin, so you have full access to everything you've seen here. Now, I actually took it one step further. Instead of booking a spa balcony cabin, I booked a spa mini suite, cabin 15 to 10. And it's very similar to a standard balcony cabin and a spa balcony cabin, except it's a little bit bigger, but most importantly, it's got a nicer bathroom and a much bigger shower than the regular balcony cabins have. When I got home from my cruise, I was so disappointed with my shower at home because I had gotten so spoiled by this much nicer shower in my spa mini suite. Walking down the hallway past these regular balcony cabins on the left, see how the hallway jogs right about four or five feet where the spa mini suites begin? That's the extra space a mini suite has over a regular one. I liked that at the desk there were plenty of electrical outlets, including a 220 volt socket that was hiding behind my laptop there. There were USB charging ports on both sides of the bed, that was nice, but I have to admit that I was surprised that NCL hadn't bothered to put electrical outlets by the bed for people that have to use a CPAP machine for sleep apnea. There's a refrigerator under the desk, and it's stocked with booze, but they do charge you extra for that, even if you have the beverage package. It makes more sense if you have the beverage package to just go to any bar on the ship and have drinks there for free, rather than paying for the booze that's in the fridge in your cabin. 
be aware that the TVs in the cabin do not get the major American broadcast networks like NBC, CBS, ABC, and Fox, so you won't be able to watch your favorite TV shows during your cruise. Be sure to set your DVR at home. I've done a lot of cruises over the years. This cruise on Norwegian Bliss was our 44th. One thing I've learned, and the whole point of this video so I can pass this on to you, is that if you cruise with NCL, make sure you book a spa cabin instead of a regular cabin so you can take advantage of the fantastic thermal suite that most NCL ships have within their spa. I'm Jim Zim. Thanks for watching. Explore my YouTube channel for more videos about the Norwegian Bliss and other great cruise ships I recommend.